The history of the bicycle is a captivating journey that unfolds across centuries, weaving a tale of innovation, human ingenuity, and societal transformation. From the earliest concepts of a two-wheeled, human-powered device to the sleek, technologically advanced bicycles of the present day, each era has left an indelible mark on the evolution of this iconic mode of transportation. This narrative explores the key milestones, inventors, and cultural shifts that have shaped the history of the bicycle, revealing not only its mechanical evolution but also its profound impact on mobility, recreation, and the very fabric of society. Join us on a ride through time as we delve into the fascinating and dynamic history of the bicycle. Early Concepts, 15th to 18th Centuries During the period from the 15th to the 18th centuries, the early concepts of the bicycle were marked by intriguing sketches and designs that hinted at the possibility of a human-powered, two-wheeled vehicle. While these early ideas were more akin to conceptual drawings rather than functional bicycles, they laid the groundwork for future innovations. Leonardo da Vinci Sketches, 15th Century The renowned Renaissance polymath Leonardo da Vinci is credited with some of the earliest conceptual sketches of a human-powered vehicle resembling a bicycle. In his notebook sketches, he explored the idea of a machine with two wheels, but these drawings were more illustrative of inventive curiosity rather than practical engineering. Sketches and Designs, 17th to 18th Centuries Over the following centuries, various inventors and engineers attempted to translate the idea of a two-wheeled vehicle into tangible designs. While these early efforts lacked the practicality and functionality that we associate with bicycles today, they reflected a growing interest in the concept of personal, human-powered transportation. Despite the absence of a fully realized bicycle during this period, these early concepts demonstrated a nascent fascination with the idea of harnessing human energy for propulsion on a two-wheeled apparatus. The true breakthroughs in bicycle design and functionality would come later, particularly in the 19th century with the advent of the Draisine and the pedal-powered bicycle. The early concepts, however, laid the imaginative foundation for the future development of this transformative mode of transportation. Draisine or Running Machine, 1817 In 1817, Karl Dreis, a German baron, introduced a revolutionary invention known as the Lauf Machine or Running Machine, commonly referred to as a Draisine. This invention marked a significant step in the evolution of the bicycle and is considered one of the earliest forms of human-powered transportation. Key Features of the Draisine, 1817 Design and Structure The Draisine had a simple yet innovative design. It consisted of a wooden frame mounted on two wheels arranged in line. The rider straddled the frame and propelled the device forward by pushing their feet against the ground. Handlebar for Steering Unlike its predecessors, the Draisine featured a handlebar that allowed the rider to steer the device. This handlebar significantly improved control and maneuverability, making it a more practical and user-friendly mode of transportation. No pedals Notably, the Draisine did not have pedals. Instead, the rider used their feet to push off the ground, similar to a modern-day scooter. This design, while effective for locomotion, lacked the continuous and efficient pedaling mechanism that would later become synonymous with bicycles. Popularity and Usage The Draisine gained popularity in various European cities, including Paris and London. It was initially adopted for practical purposes like transportation and commuting short distances. The device's simplicity and ease of use contributed to its widespread appeal. Transition to the pedal-powered bicycle While the Draisine represented a significant leap forward in personal transportation, it was a transitional step toward the pedal-powered bicycle. The absence of pedals limited its efficiency, prompting inventors to explore mechanisms that would allow riders to propel the vehicle more continuously. Carl Draisine's Draisine laid the groundwork for subsequent developments in bicycle design. The introduction of pedals in the 1860s marked a crucial evolution, transforming the Draisine into a more efficient and practical form of transportation, and ultimately paving the way for the modern bicycle we recognize today. The Draisine remains a pivotal innovation in the broader history of human-powered mobility. Pedal-Powered Bicycle, 1860s 
The 1860s witnessed a pivotal moment in the history of the bicycle with the introduction of the pedal-powered version, a design that marked a significant departure from earlier iterations like the Drazine. This innovation, often credited to Frenchman Pierre Michaud and his son Ernest Michaud, laid the foundation for the modern bicycle and transformed personal transportation. Key Features of the Pedal-Powered Bicycle, 1860s Addition of Pedals The defining feature of the pedal-powered bicycle was the incorporation of pedals directly connected to the front wheel. This allowed riders to propel the bicycle forward by rotating the pedals in a circular motion, eliminating the need to constantly push off the ground as seen in earlier designs. Improved Efficiency the addition of pedals significantly enhanced the efficiency and ease of use of the bicycle. Riders could now achieve continuous motion with a pedaling action, making cycling a more comfortable and practical mode of transportation. Chain Drive Mechanism To facilitate the connection between the pedals and the front wheel, inventors introduced the chain drive mechanism. This innovation involved using a chain to transfer the rotational energy from the pedals to the wheel, ensuring a smoother and more effective means of propulsion. Larger Front Wheel Early pedal-powered bicycles featured a larger front wheel compared to the rear wheel, a design known as the ordinary or penny-farthing bicycle. The larger wheel allowed for greater distance coverage with each pedal rotation, but it also presented safety challenges and led to the development of later designs with more balanced wheel sizes. Rise in Popularity the pedal-powered bicycle gained rapid popularity and acceptance among the public. It became a symbol of technological progress and personal freedom, offering a practical and efficient means of transportation for individuals in urban and rural settings. Evolution of Bicycle Designs The 1860s marked the beginning of a period of experimentation and evolution in bicycle design. Inventors and manufacturers sought to improve the safety, comfort, and efficiency of bicycles, leading to the development of various models and designs over the subsequent decades. The introduction of the pedal-powered bicycle in the 1860s not only transformed personal mobility, but also laid the groundwork for subsequent innovations in cycling technology. The evolution of bicycle design continued throughout the late 19th and early 20th centuries, shaping the diverse range of bicycles that we are familiar with today. Chain-Driven Bicycle, 1870s The 1870s marked a crucial phase in the evolution of the bicycle with the widespread adoption of the chain-driven mechanism. This innovation addressed key limitations of earlier designs, enhancing efficiency and paving the way for safer and more practical bicycles. Key Features of the Chain-Driven Bicycle, 1870s Introduction of the Chain Drive The fundamental improvement in the 1870s was the incorporation of a chain drive mechanism to connect the pedals to the rear wheel. This replaced the direct connection between the pedals and the front wheel seen in earlier designs. The chain drive allowed for a more efficient transfer of pedaling energy to the wheels. Equal Sized Wheels one notable shift in design during this era was the move toward bicycles with equal-sized wheels, departing from the ordinary or penny-farthing design characterized by a larger front wheel. The adoption of equal-sized wheels contributed to improved stability and safety. Safety Bicycles Bicycles featuring equal-sized wheels and chain-driven mechanisms were commonly referred to as safety bicycles. The term safety emphasized the enhanced stability and reduced risk of accidents compared to the high-wheel designs prevalent in the previous decade. Enhanced Ride Comfort The chain-driven bicycle offered a more comfortable riding experience. With pedals connected to the rear wheel through a chain, riders could achieve a smoother and more continuous pedaling motion. This innovation contributed to the growing popularity of cycling as a practical means of transportation and recreation. Mass Production and Accessibility The adoption of the chain drive coincided with advancements in manufacturing techniques. This facilitated mass production, making bicycles more affordable and accessible to a broader segment of the population. As a result, cycling transitioned from being a niche activity to a widely embraced mode of transportation. Rise of Cycling Culture The introduction of safety bicycles fueled the rise of a cycling culture. Cyclists formed clubs, organized races, and engaged in social rides. 
bicycling became a symbol of mobility, freedom, and progress, particularly for women who embraced the newfound independence offered by the bicycle. Impact on Society The chain-driven bicycle had a transformative impact on society. It played a role in the women's suffrage movement by providing women with a means of independent transportation. Additionally, bicycles contributed to changes in urban planning, influencing the development of roads and infrastructure to accommodate this popular mode of transit. The chain-driven bicycle of the 1870s laid the groundwork for the modern bicycle, establishing key design principles that persist to this day. The evolution of the bicycle continued, incorporating further innovations and improvements as it became an integral part of transportation and recreation worldwide. Safety Bicycle, 1880s The 1880s marked a significant era in the history of the bicycle with the widespread adoption of the safety bicycle. The safety bicycle represented a departure from earlier designs, offering improved stability, safety, and practicality compared to the high-wheeled or ordinary bicycles of the preceding decades. Key Features of the Safety Bicycle, 1880s Equal-sized wheels The safety bicycle was characterized by equal-sized wheels, in contrast to the high-wheeled or penny-farthing bicycles with a much larger front wheel. The adoption of equal-sized wheels contributed to greater stability and ease of use. Chain-driven mechanism the safety bicycle retained the chain-driven mechanism introduced in the 1870s, connecting the pedals to the rear wheel. This innovation allowed for a more efficient transfer of pedaling energy and a smoother, continuous cycling experience. Lower center of gravity By lowering the center of gravity with the use of equal-sized wheels, the safety bicycle reduced the risk of accidents associated with the high-wheeled designs. Riders were positioned closer to the ground, enhancing stability and making it easier to mount and dismount. Pneumatic Tires The adoption of pneumatic, air-filled, rubber tires, pioneered by John Boyd Dunlop in the 1880s, further contributed to the comfort and stability of the safety bicycle. Pneumatic tires provided a smoother ride by absorbing shocks and vibrations from uneven surfaces. Variety of Designs the safety bicycle design saw various adaptations and innovations, including different frame shapes and configurations. One notable variant was the diamond frame, characterized by a diamond-shaped frame structure, which became a standard design for many bicycles. Increased popularity The safety bicycle quickly gained popularity and became a symbol of personal mobility and independence. Its design improvements, combined with affordability and accessibility, contributed to a surge in bicycle ownership and ridership during the late 19th century. Impact on Women's Mobility The safety bicycle played a crucial role in advancing women's mobility and independence. Its design, which allowed for easier mounting and dismounting, enabled women to embrace cycling as a practical and liberating mode of transportation. The bicycle became a symbol of the women's suffrage movement, promoting social change and equality. Cycling culture and industry growth The safety bicycle era coincided with the growth of a vibrant cycling culture. Cycling clubs formed, races became popular events, and cycling-related publications flourished. The bicycle industry experienced significant growth as manufacturing processes improved, making bicycles more accessible to a broader audience. The safety bicycle of the 1880s represents a milestone in the history of cycling, establishing design principles that remain foundational to modern bicycles. Its innovations not only improved the safety and comfort of cycling, but also contributed to societal changes, including shifts in urban planning, transportation norms, and attitudes towards women's mobility. Pneumatic Tires, 1888 In 1888, John Boyd Dunlop, a Scottish veterinarian, introduced a groundbreaking innovation that would revolutionize the cycling experience the pneumatic tire. This invention had a profound impact on the comfort, efficiency, and popularity of bicycles, marking a significant advancement in both cycling technology and the broader automotive industry. Key Features of Pneumatic Tires, 1888 Air-Filled Design Dunlop's pneumatic tire was distinguished by its air-filled, inflatable design. It consisted of a rubber outer casing filled with air, 
providing a cushioning effect that improved the bicycle's ride quality by absorbing shocks and vibrations from uneven surfaces. Enhanced Comfort and Stability The pneumatic tire significantly enhanced the comfort of cycling. Prior to its introduction, bicycles were equipped with solid rubber or wooden tires, offering a much harsher and jarring ride. With pneumatic tires, the ride became smoother, and cyclists experienced less fatigue and discomfort. Improved Traction The flexibility of the pneumatic tire's rubber construction improved traction, particularly on uneven or slippery surfaces. This contributed to a safer and more stable riding experience, further popularizing bicycles as a practical means of transportation. Reduction in Rolling Resistance Pneumatic tires reduced rolling resistance compared to solid tires. The elasticity of the air-filled tire allowed it to deform slightly under the weight of the bicycle and rider, resulting in less friction with the road. This reduction in rolling resistance improved overall efficiency and made cycling more energy efficient. Widespread Adoption Dunlop's invention quickly gained popularity and became widely adopted in the cycling community. The pneumatic tire's benefits were not limited to bicycles, they were also incorporated into early automobiles, contributing to the development of smoother and more comfortable rides in the emerging automotive industry. Impact on Cycling Culture The introduction of pneumatic tires played a role in the growth of cycling culture during the late 19th century. The increased comfort and efficiency encouraged more people to take up cycling for both recreation and transportation, leading to the formation of cycling clubs, races, and the establishment of cycling as a popular leisure activity. Continued Relevance Pneumatic tires remain a standard feature on bicycles, motorcycles, and automobiles to this day. The invention by Dunlop laid the groundwork for subsequent advancements in tire technology, including the development of various tread patterns, materials, and construction methods. John Boyd Dunlop's pneumatic tire not only transformed the cycling experience, but also had a lasting impact on the broader field of transportation. Its introduction represented a leap forward in comfort, safety, and efficiency, contributing to the ongoing evolution of both bicycles and automobiles. Bicycle Boom, 1890s the bicycle boom of the 1890s refers to a period of unprecedented popularity and widespread adoption of bicycles, marking a transformative era in the history of cycling. This boom was characterized by a surge in bicycle ownership, increased ridership, and the emergence of cycling as a cultural phenomenon with profound social and economic implications. Key Features of the Bicycle Boom, 1890s Affordability and Accessibility Technological advancements, standardization in manufacturing processes, and economies of scale led to a significant reduction in the cost of bicycles. This increased affordability made bicycles accessible to a broader segment of the population, including the middle class. Variety of models and designs. The bicycle boom saw the production of a diverse range of bicycle models and designs to cater to different preferences and needs. This variety included various frame shapes, wheel sizes, and features, offering options for both recreational cyclists and those seeking practical transportation. Marketing and Advertising Bicycle manufacturers engaged in extensive marketing and advertising campaigns to promote their products. Advertisements highlighted the health benefits, convenience, and societal advantages of cycling. This marketing push played a crucial role in shaping public perceptions and driving demand. Cycling Clubs and Societies The popularity of cycling led to the formation of numerous cycling clubs and societies. These organizations brought together enthusiasts for group rides, social events, and competitive races. Cycling clubs became hubs for social interaction, contributing to the sense of community among cyclists. Role of Women in Cycling the bicycle boom played a pivotal role in advancing women's mobility and independence. The design of the safety bicycle, with its lower frame and pneumatic tires, made cycling more accessible to women. Bicycles became associated with freedom, and the boom coincided with the rise of the new woman movement, challenging traditional gender roles. Impact on fashion and culture Bicycles influenced fashion trends of the time. 
women's clothing, in particular, underwent changes to accommodate cycling, with the introduction of more practical and comfortable attire, such as the bicycle costume. Cycling also became a popular subject in art, literature, and entertainment, reflecting its cultural significance. Economic Impact The bicycle boom had a substantial economic impact, driving growth in the bicycle manufacturing industry and related sectors. Bicycles became a commodity that fueled economic expansion, with bicycle shops, repair services, and accessories becoming prevalent in urban and rural areas. Transition to the Automobile Age The bicycle boom played a role in paving the way for the subsequent rise of the automobile. Many early automotive pioneers, including individuals like Henry Ford, had backgrounds in the bicycle industry. The boom contributed to a growing enthusiasm for personal transportation, laying the groundwork for the automotive revolution. The bicycle boom of the 1890s left a lasting legacy, influencing transportation trends, societal norms, and cultural perceptions. The surge in bicycle popularity not only shaped the dynamics of urban life, but also contributed to the broader mobility and lifestyle changes of the turn of the century. Invention of the Mountain Bike, 1970s The invention of the mountain bike in the 1970s marked a significant milestone in the history of cycling, introducing a specialized bicycle designed for off-road terrain and rugged trails. This development was driven by a group of enthusiasts who sought a more robust and versatile bicycle capable of handling challenging terrains beyond traditional paved roads. Key Features of the Invention of the Mountain Bike, 1970s Origins in California The mountain bike's origin can be traced back to Northern California, where a community of cyclists, known as the Clunkers, experimented with modifying traditional bicycles for off-road use. These early off-road rides down steep and rugged trails laid the foundation for the development of the mountain bike. Innovations in Frame Design One of the key innovations in the invention of the mountain bike was the modification of frame design. Cyclists began experimenting with frames that had a more durable and sturdy construction, incorporating features such as reinforced tubing and a slacker geometry to enhance stability on uneven terrain. Wide, knobby tires Mountain bikes were equipped with wider, knobby tires designed to provide better traction on dirt trails and uneven surfaces. These tires offered improved control and stability while navigating through challenging off-road conditions. Gearing Systems Early mountain bikes featured specialized gearing systems that allowed riders to tackle steep inclines and navigate through varied terrain. The gearing ratios were adapted to accommodate the demands of off-road cycling, providing cyclists with a range of options for different trail conditions. Flat Handlebars and Upright Position Mountain bikes were designed with flat handlebars and an upright riding position, contributing to better control and maneuverability during off-road rides. This setup allowed riders to easily shift their weight and negotiate obstacles encountered on the trail. Rise of Mountain Biking Culture The popularity of mountain biking grew rapidly, leading to the emergence of a distinct mountain biking culture. Enthusiasts participated in off-road races, events, and competitions, fostering a community of riders who shared a passion for exploring natural landscapes and challenging trails. Commercial Production and Industry Growth the success of these early mountain bike prototypes prompted commercial manufacturers to recognize the demand for this specialized type of bicycle. Bicycle companies began producing purpose-built mountain bikes, and the industry experienced significant growth during the 1980s as more people embraced off-road cycling. Expansion of Trail Systems The rise of mountain biking contributed to the development of dedicated off-road trail systems. Many regions established mountain biking parks and trails, recognizing the sport's popularity and the need for spaces designed to accommodate off-road cycling. The invention of the mountain bike not only introduced a new category of bicycles, but also transformed the landscape of recreational cycling. Mountain biking became a global phenomenon, with enthusiasts exploring diverse terrains and contributing to the ongoing evolution of cycling as a dynamic and multifaceted activity. Bicycle Commuting and Advocacy, Late 20th Century, Present Bicycle commuting and advocacy have gained increasing prominence from the late 20th century to the present day as individuals, communities, 
and organizations recognize the benefits of cycling for transportation, health, and the environment. This period has witnessed a growing movement to promote cycling as a practical and sustainable mode of commuting, accompanied by efforts to enhance cycling infrastructure and safety. Key Features of Bicycle Commuting and Advocacy, Late 20th Century, Present Rise of Commuter Cycling In the late 20th century and continuing into the 21st century, there has been a notable rise in commuter cycling. More individuals are choosing bicycles as a means of transportation for daily commuting to work, school, or other destinations. This shift is driven by a desire for healthier lifestyles, reduced environmental impact, and the convenience of cycling in urban settings. Bicycle Advocacy Organizations Various advocacy organizations, both local and international, have played a crucial role in promoting bicycle commuting and championing the rights of cyclists. These organizations work to raise awareness about the benefits of cycling, advocate for cycling-friendly policies, and lobby for the development of safer and more accessible cycling infrastructure. Infrastructure Development Cities around the world have recognized the importance of accommodating cyclists and have invested in developing dedicated cycling infrastructure. This includes bike lanes, bike paths, and bike sharing programs. These initiatives aim to create a safer and more convenient environment for cyclists, encouraging more people to choose bicycles for their daily commutes. Bike sharing programs the late 20th century and early 21st century have seen the emergence and expansion of bike-sharing programs in urban areas. These programs provide a fleet of bicycles for short-term rental, offering a convenient and flexible solution for individuals to use bicycles for commuting without the need for ownership. Health and Environmental Benefits The emphasis on bicycle commuting is often linked to the associated health and environmental benefits. Cycling is a low-impact form of exercise that promotes cardiovascular health and contributes to a more active lifestyle. Additionally, choosing bicycles over motorized vehicles reduces air pollution, traffic congestion, and carbon emissions. Advocacy for Bicycle-Friendly Policies Bicycle advocacy groups have actively worked to influence policymakers to adopt and implement bicycle-friendly policies. This includes measures such as bike-friendly urban planning, traffic regulations that prioritize cyclist safety, and incentives for businesses to encourage bicycle commuting among employees. Cultural Shift Towards Sustainable Transportation The advocacy for bicycle commuting is part of a broader cultural shift towards sustainable transportation. As awareness of environmental issues and the benefits of active lifestyles grows, more people are embracing cycling as a practical and eco-friendly alternative to traditional modes of transportation global initiatives. International initiatives and events, such as Bike to Work Day, promote bicycle commuting on a global scale. These events encourage people to try commuting by bicycle, raise awareness about the advantages of cycling, and foster a sense of community among cyclists worldwide. The late 20th century and the present day have witnessed a transformative shift in attitudes toward bicycle commuting, driven by a combination of environmental concerns, health awareness, and the advocacy efforts of individuals and organizations. As cities continue to invest in cycling infrastructure and promote sustainable transportation options, bicycle commuting is likely to remain a key component of urban mobility strategies. Technological Advances and E-Bikes The late 20th century and the 21st century have witnessed significant technological advances in the field of cycling, most notably with the introduction and development of electric bicycles, commonly known as e-bikes. These technological innovations have brought about new possibilities, enhancing the convenience, accessibility, and overall appeal of cycling as a mode of transportation. Key Features of Technological Advances and E-Bikes Introduction of Electric Bicycles E-Bikes Electric bicycles, or e-bikes, are bicycles equipped with an electric motor that provides assistance to the rider. These motors are powered by rechargeable batteries, offering varying levels of pedal assistance or full electric propulsion, depending on the e-bike model. Pedal Assistance and Power Modes E-bikes come with different power modes, allowing riders to choose the level of assistance they desire. 
Pedal Assist Mode provides assistance when the rider pedals, amplifying their efforts. Some e-bikes also feature a throttle, enabling riders to control the electric motor without pedaling. Enhanced Range and Battery Technology Advances in battery technology have contributed to increased energy density and longer-lasting batteries for e-bikes. Modern lithium-ion batteries are commonly used in e-bikes, offering improved energy efficiency, quicker charging times, and a longer range per charge. Smart Connectivity and Integration Many e-bikes are equipped with smart features and connectivity options. This includes integrated GPS, smartphone apps, and digital displays that provide real-time information such as speed, distance traveled, and remaining battery life. Some e-bikes can also be connected to mobile apps for navigation and performance tracking. Lightweight and efficient motor designs. Technological advancements have led to the development of lightweight and efficient electric motors for e-bikes. These motors are often integrated into the bike frame or located in the hub of the wheels, contributing to a more streamlined and aesthetically pleasing design. Folding and Compact Designs Innovations in design have led to the creation of folding and compact e-bikes. These models are ideal for commuters and urban dwellers, as they can be easily folded for storage or transport in compact spaces like public transportation or small apartments. Integration with traditional bicycles E-bike technology has been integrated into various types of bicycles, including road bikes, mountain bikes, and cargo bikes. This versatility allows cyclists to choose an e-bike that aligns with their preferred riding style and intended use. Environmental and Health Benefits E-bikes offer environmental benefits by providing an energy-efficient and low-emission mode of transportation. Additionally, e-bikes can encourage physical activity, as riders have the flexibility to choose the level of assistance they need, making cycling more accessible to a wider range of individuals. Regulatory Frameworks and Acceptance As e-bikes have gained popularity, regulatory frameworks have been established to address safety, speed limits, and the classification of different e-bike types. The acceptance of e-bikes has grown globally, with many cities embracing them as a sustainable and practical solution for urban transportation. The integration of technology and the introduction of e-bikes have expanded the possibilities and appeal of cycling, making it more accessible to a diverse range of individuals and contributing to the evolution of urban mobility. These technological advances continue to shape the landscape of cycling, offering new opportunities for sustainable transportation. In conclusion, the history of the bicycle is a captivating journey that spans centuries, weaving together innovation, cultural shifts, and societal transformations. From the early conceptual sketches of visionaries like Leonardo da Vinci to the revolutionary designs of the 19th century, the bicycle has evolved into an iconic symbol of mobility, freedom, and progress. The bicycle's impact on society is profound and multifaceted. It played a pivotal role in the women's suffrage movement, provided a means of independent transportation, and became an agent of cultural change. The bicycle boom of the 1890s saw a surge in popularity, shaping urban landscapes and influencing fashion trends. Throughout the 20th century, the bicycle continued to evolve, adapting to changing needs and technological advancements. The invention of the mountain bike in the 1970s opened new horizons for off-road cycling enthusiasts, while the late 20th century and the 21st century witnessed a resurgence of interest in bicycle commuting and the rise of electric bicycles, e-bikes. Technological innovations, coupled with advocacy efforts, have positioned the bicycle as a sustainable and versatile mode of transportation in contemporary urban environments. As we reflect on the history of the bicycle, it becomes clear that this humble two-wheeled invention has transcended its utilitarian origins to become a cultural icon, a tool for social change, and a catalyst for sustainable urban mobility. From leisurely rides through scenic landscapes to bustling city commutes, the bicycle continues to serve as a testament to human ingenuity and the enduring spirit of exploration. As we pedal forward into the future, the history of the bicycle reminds us that the simple act of riding a bike is not merely a means of getting from one place to another, it is a journey that connects us to the past, shapes our present, and propels us toward a more sustainable and interconnected future. 
The bicycle, with its timeless elegance and efficiency, remains a symbol of freedom, empowerment, and the enduring quest for progress on two wheels.